Clean the shaft with alcohol. Place the rotating part of the seal in the counter ring without the O-ring to check that pins are at the correct height. Make sure that the rotating part of the seal does not rock more than shown here. Remove the rotating part of the seal. Mount the O-ring on the rotating part of the seal. Lubricate with water to make it slide easily into place. Place the rotating part of the seal in the counter ring. Check that the pins are properly positioned. Gently press the rotating seal part into place. Place the stationary drive ring in the flange. Place the spring ring in the flange. Mount the plate to the flange. Check the tension of the spring ring. Place the O-ring on the stationary part of the seal. Lubricate with water to make it slide easily into place. Place the stationary part of the seal onto the flange. Check that the tabs on the stationary drive ring are properly positioned. Gently press the stationary part of the seal into place in the flange. Gently place the shaft in the bearing frame. Be aware that the pin in the bearing frame must fit into the shaft keyway. Place the O-ring for the oil trap ring on the shaft. Place the oil trap ring on the shaft. Place the last O-ring on the shaft. Continue to position the shaft into the bearing frame. Turn the shaft until the pin in the bearing frame and the keyway on the shaft fit. Properly mount the coupling on the pins. Mount the shaft bolt. Tighten the shaft bolt. While making sure that the seal and O-rings slide properly into place. Tighten the shaft bolt with the correct torque as indicated in the manual. Prevent the agitator from rolling when tightening the shaft bolt. Mount the O-rings and the oil trap ring.
mount the guards on the lantern. Remove the retainer bolt from the bearing frame. Mount the prevent valve. 